Okay, this tutorial is looking at uh, air transportation modes. Um, this is a slightly modified Coral Sea scenario. I've removed the base force from Shortlands and, and put it under Rabal instead. Uh, what I'm going to do is just to show you how to use your float transportation. The reason I have to use uh, the float transportation is if we look at Shortlands, you can note that there's actually no air capacity here, there's no airfield. So, uh, with our normal transports, we'd be able to fly them in, obviously, if there was an airfield, but in this case, we have to use our uh, float transports. So, let's just set that up. So, what I do is I hit Troop Transport, I hit Select Destination, and then I select the, f the base force I want to move, which will be the first base force. Uh, luckily, the uh, the first thing that gets moved over there is the aviation support. So, if you're looking to set up a, a forward base fairly quickly, uh, the aviation support uh, goes first. Obviously, this is very good if uh, <laughs> if your base actually does have an airfield, but also if you have uh, Mavises as I do here, station there at present, uh, you'll note that uh, the aviation support at the moment is zero, and the aviation support required is six, so over time they won't be maintained unless I do this. Okay, the second mode I want to look at is uh, the pickup mode, which uh, I've reset my Mavis back to training, and this time what we're going to do is hit Troop Transport again, we have to hit Select Destination, and we want to pick up from Tulagi. So I've selected on Tulagi, and at the moment it's set to uh, transport this group from Rabol. So instead we have to hit Pick Up Troops. There's only one group there, so it's going to fly there every turn and try to pick up this group. Okay, so that's pretty simple.